Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. Yes, I have completely different equipment right now. I'm traveling. I only have one deck with me, but we are going to do this and I'm not going to put a date on this. I'll put a release date, but you can watch this whenever you come across this. Listen to it all and I encourage you to go back and listen to this after a few days and see what is still playing out for you what has already played out now as i'm recording this a hurricane a major hurricane is making landfall in florida so i am thinking of you all watch out in the carolinas in georgia again thinking of you all all right let's get into this here okay first card out we have here is king of fire uh, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. This feels very much... Oh gosh, I am so not used to this camera. <laughs> this is like opposite. I'm not okay. I'm thrown off. Oh dear. Anyway, <laughs> what, do I, what do I put here? Ding. Okay. You have to take the car with my face, okay? So this is feeling like things that have been hanging over your head you're thinking outside the box you're taking firmer action right so before maybe you were kind of waiting and just trying to manifest but not paying attention to the guidance that you've been given now you know okay well i need to not in a panicky way they're clarifying that not a panicky way of i'm gonna push but rather you know instead of just sitting back and waiting you're taking charge ace of air because you have a brilliant idea Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation. Again, the truth of this situation may be that you have been inactive or you've been too afraid to take action. That's changing now, okay? A challenging beginning. The challenging beginning is uh, having to do with trusting yourself. You know, is this um, something that I can really pull off? Now, I want to make the distinction here again. This isn't about ego. This isn't about... Oh, I've got this great idea that's going to make me famous. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about finding creative solutions to things that have been hanging over your head and having strength to do it. We have the number 11 here, okay? So it is a strength card. Archangel Ariel, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. This is having the strength to release yourself from that which holds you back. You know, we talk about that all the time. Part of your spiritual growth has to do with okay you know what i have to let this situation go or i have to not get and i see this all the time you know getting wound up in work drama and that keeps you trapped in a career that is not good for you you see what i'm saying or you know we could apply that to love as well this is looking beyond the boundaries to a fire You've come into your own, new partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward. This is feeling very much like you've got to change your way of thinking. And there's somebody here who wants to help or who's in the same boat as you. Uh, does this necessarily have to mean that it's a partnership, like a business partnership? No, but this is like, hey, humble yourself. I am hearing that. Humble yourself. So some, some people are not moving forward because, you know, you're, you're, determined that it's supposed to work out the way I say it's supposed to work out. Uh, I, you, as you guys know, I'm house hunting and it's been a very humbling experience because <laughs> I get out there and I see what's actually available for my price range and I'm like, oh dang. <laughs> okay, it, it's sort of that. Then we have six of water. Memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. This feels like, you know, something about your past that you have to forgive and this is also looking at some of those conditioned thoughts, some of the conditioned thinking. And I think that's what you're having to move past. Like if, for example, if you're afraid to be successful, maybe you start to pinpoint why you get in your own way. I do that all the time. I was just telling someone I have to work on that, not to self-sabotage or as soon as something starts to become successful, getting scared and pulling back that sort of thing okay please pay attention because i will be getting the september uh monthly overview and i'll do a quick card read for each of the signs that will be coming up after this video if you would like to work with me go to angelsouls444.com that's where you can book a standard reading be paying attention to my youtube community tab because i do post codes here and there 
if the code does not work, it has expired. So please keep that in mind. But if you're following over there, maybe you can get a little off of the reading because I know as I put in a post, you know, people are going back to school. They're sending their kids back to school, school clothes, college. I get it. Okay. So if I can help out in any way, I will do that. Now I'm not always available for live sessions. That is a different price point, different procedure, but you can always just email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see if there is a space. Okay. So first card out for you is balance. So this feels, I, I feel for a lot of you, maybe you guys have, uh, and I'm not an astrologer, so check your astrological charts and what's been happening there. But I feel like a lot of you have just been uh, getting hit with a lot of uh, strange energy and things feeling like it's just kind of like working against you. You feel me? So this is saying, okay, take a moment to harmonize. That's just as, as important as anything else. All right. So if the number 14 reduces to five, you need to change your ways. You need to change the go, go, go attitude or getting stuck in a gossip loop or um, a turmoil loop, chaos loop, whatever that might be for you. Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is all about transmutation. So take a different perspective on whatever's happening. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. And definitely no whining here, okay? Because <laughs> that is going to bring your energy down. That is not the gig. If you're wondering why my face looks like this, I'm sitting in front of a window. I don't have my lamps uh, with me. I, I had to borrow a camera and everything. So, and a mic. So this is going to sound different too. Don't be thrown off. But uh, the balancing here, this this is saying, you know, cooperation and compromise. That was feeling very much like instead of working against people or trying to find where someone's doing something wrong, a lot of people put tons of energy behind that. This is saying, hey, balance that out here a little bit. Reconsider where your energy is going. Okay. Then we have, we have unity. The number is five, Archangel Sandalfin. He's all about balance and harmony and getting your chakras in alignment and being grounded. So there's something that has really just taken you astray. All right. Uh, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. The, I always feel like this is a call to spiritually balance more than anything. I mean, you can balance your day-to-day -day life, but this is saying, hey, you need to reconnect. It's time to do that or nothing's going to be working out for you. Because here's why. Eight of fire, <laughs> events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. So where there might have been um, just drudgery and just, um, you know, nothing seems to be coming together, nothing's moving fast enough, everything comes in all at once. And this could be all of the unpleasant things too. This could be the, oops, I forgot to fill out this form. I got to take care of that. Um, the thing I always forget to do is activate my debit cards. You ever do that? <laughs> what a silly example, but it's real. And that's what happens. Like I get it and I'm like, oh yeah, I got to remember to take care of that, whatever. And then, you know, it just, it's, it's like the little things, but they're piling up. That's why this is telling you don't get burned out. When we have unity and balance with the eight of fire, there could be risk of that. Okay. And we have three of water. There's good stuff coming in. A celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. This has been getting used to the struggle. You hear me talk about that all the time. Maybe you've even gotten to a point of like, nothing's going to change. I'm so done. And then boom, something comes in. Now weigh your options carefully here. Wait, that's why you need to be in that balanced place. Because there could be something coming along that... Um, I'm going to say this kind of lures you into it sort of charms you into <laughs> going into a certain direction that maybe isn't right for you ace of fire you guys are moving forward here we're still in retrogrades many of them but uh, some things are looking up here an exciting new opportunity career advancement change your life now oh I can hold the cards I swear <laughs> so the very thing it's not what you've been trying to manifest that's what's so interesting there are going to be things kind of shooting after you or coming into your world that are things that you hadn't previously considered. And now that option is here, that option is clear, and it's because of your faith and your determination. But again, remember what we started this off with, balance and harmony come from a clear place before you try manifesting anything. All right? Then I'm sending you all so much love and take care.